Bentley smoking moon. Hey, raw. Hey, pocket full of mother blue. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to On The Gas Show. We're back with another video, guys. And today is gonna be another exciting vlog just because we're picking up another vehicle. It seems like this week, we've been buying all kinds of stuff, Frank. Yeah, we've been making all kinds of moves with the big rig, the McLaren white body kit that's going to SEMA, the Escalade V. Now we're getting something for the Houston culture and that's something old school and you guys from Houston would know all about it. Yeah, so you guys been asking for a uh, certain type of content or certain type of vehicle that you wanted to see on this channel. And today is the day that we're finally picking it up. Whoa. We're not picking it up, but today is the day that we're gonna show you guys the new vehicle that we just bought. It's gonna be a Slab 76 El Dorado, and we bought it off from Little Kiki, bro, famous rapper here from Houston. Yeah, so if you guys are from H Town, y'all know everybody knows the Southside song. Yes. So, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, Little yeah, Kiki yeah, yeah, originated yeah, yeah. that song and everything, yeah. and the Slab culture with DJ Screw and everything. It's gonna be a pretty exciting vlog. Yes, and today we are here, my boy Ash from San 13 Motoring is the one that made actually the deal. I hit up my boy asking him, what's up? with a slab you know what i'm saying we need a slab here in, in the on the gas fleet he was like let me make some calls and i'll call you back well two three hours later he calls me back he's like hey i got little kiki's car you want it send me some pictures bro let me see it car just got done a couple of months ago i was like you know what that's it let's make a deal and sure enough we're here now checking it out we bought it last week but we haven't seen it Today is gonna be the first day that we see it and we're not taking it home because since the car just got built, it still needs a little bit of things here and there like the, the sound system. So we're here with the sound system crew. We're gonna be talking about doing the pop trunk and all that good stuff. We're gonna be showing you guys the badass slap. We're gonna be changing it up a little bit giving it that on the gas sauce. We don't wanna change it up a lot because at the end of the day, little Kiki built this car. So we don't wanna change a lot of things. We just wanna keep, we still wanna keep it because he's an OG here in Houston, bro. I mean, he's been rapping for, for a long time, right? Yeah, and it's only right to keep it original. His style with a little bit of on the gas flavor on top. Yes, yeah, yeah. So his style already. So the car is already kind of like halfway done. We're just going to finish it off and do little touches here and there. Make it our way. And uh, I think we're going to do badass. Now, we've never showed a slab before. A lot of you people from, you know, from other places that is not from Texas, you might not know what a slab is. We're kind of new to this, even though we're from here from Houston. But with this car, we're fixing to be in the game. And I can't wait to swing and bang, right? That's what we do. That's what we're going to do now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they do and with the elbow sticking out you guys who don't know what i'm talking about you're about to see right now yeah you ready are they ready yeah let's go let's go let's go check it out all right guys so i'm out here with my boy ash from 713 motoring you you're the top dog here my boy in houston you build all kinds of stuff let the people know what you do here that's in houston. what they say that's what they say okay, okay. sometimes i'm good and sometimes oh. i'm practicing okay but now nah, you know my boy hit me up he said you need a slab no actually he said he needed a 76. So I was just start thinking and I was like, man, I know where one is. Yeah. A perfect one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my boy Lil Kiki had hit me a couple of weeks back, told me, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to get off of his, so when he hit me looking for a 76, I was like, damn, that's perfect. So we end up, you know what I'm saying, calling Lil Kiki, making the deal happen and getting a really, really nice turnkey 76 slab Cadillac Eldorado that he had just finished. So we're gonna keep that platform, we're gonna start there, we're gonna use that, and now we're gonna build an on the gas slab, the 713 way. There you go. Now, the 76 Eldorado, that is the car they have to that's have the a one. slab. That's, that's, the, one. that's the, like, the, the top dog. To me, that's my favorite. Okay. I okay. got a 76. I know a lot of heavy dudes, they in H-Town. Slim got a 75. Okay. Uh, Lynn got a 76, 75. Okay. The 75, 76 is like, Perfect car for a slab. It's big, it's long, you know what I'm saying? It's a boat. It's a boat for sure. It literally is a boat. You know what I'm saying? The trunk is, you can go crazy in the trunk. Yeah. So it's definitely, you know what I'm saying? It's the holy grail of slab to and me. It, so, okay, so that's it's the car to have. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? In that's regards to building, in regards to building a Cadillac. Yeah, there you go. So that's why I was thinking about having, you know, getting a slab in our fleet. And so I hit up my boy, Ash. He's a top dog here in Houston. He builds a lot of cars for a bunch of rappers, football players, all these artists, stuff like that. And he, your girlfriend too. Yeah. <laughs> Build so, cars for your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. So I hit him up, I was like, my boy, I need a slab. Guide me the right direction. What is the car to have? And sure enough, he told me a 76 Dorado is the car to have. Let me make some calls and see what I can do. Sure enough, a couple hours later, call me back. I got a car. It's Lil Kiki's car, which is a famous rapper from here from Houston. Yeah, sure. So I was like, you know Lil what? Kiki. Speaking of Lil Kiki, Lil Kiki is just more than a famous rapper. He's like the slap captain, you know what I'm saying? Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah, he's the SUC captain. He, he, the, he the main nigga that really pushed the slap culture. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Through the music and, you know, 
through all the shit that they was rapping about back then, the screwed up clip, he's like highly the most prominent figure that's popularized for even building a slab. So okay. the fact that you even got his car. Okay, so that's it. That's it's just crazy. It's like, it's like you got the car from the originator of the slab culture. Shit, I didn't know that. I thought, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew he was big, but I didn't know he was the one that actually made everything pop more, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah, for sure. So, let's keep so, doing so, Done on the south side. There you go. I think they're ready to check out the car. Let's do it. Let's go. And right here, guys, is a 76 Eldorado Slab. Six El Dorado, like my boy Ash said, this car was built by Little Kiki, and he is one of the top dogs on this game. And as you can see, it's something different from the trucks. You know, you guys see a bunch of trucks, big wheels and stuff like that. This is something different for you guys and for us. I mean, it's an old school car. We got a couple old school cars in the fleet, but nothing like this. This, we've never had a, it's funny that we bought the Cadillac yesterday, now we got this one. It's oh like, yeah, it's back to back. Yeah, back to back. Now, let's talk about the wheels. Before we talk about anything, let's talk about the wheels. We have a lot of people that follow us from all over the US and seeing a wheel like this, yeah, it's, 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 it's trippy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You might look at the wheel and be like, oh, it's normal, you know what I'm saying? Because we're from Houston, we see it all the time. But what is this wheel? Why does it stick out? Who, you know, when does this shit start popping up? Is this small, is it big, is it, well, what is it? What are we looking at right now? Man, it's, it's a Houston culture. It's a Houston culture thing, so it's rather you hate it or you love it. Okay, so it's one if of those you deals. hate it, you probably not from Houston. Okay. But if you love it, you know, it, it's part of our culture, you know, swinging, swinging and banging, coming down, you know, knocking real hard, you know, poking out on the 84s. I ain't going to really just get in too much of the, the history because yeah. I don't, you know, want to be a historian, <laughs> but uh, it's a long history behind these wheels. When did it start? When, when did it start? In the 90s? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, 83s and 84s was, is, is supposedly the year that they originally came out. Oh, okay, okay. On so, the Cadillac. So on the 80s, in the 80s. Yeah, so back then, before they was mass reproduced, you know, they was, you had to get them from somewhere else. Yeah. Re-chrome them, okay, get okay, them okay, fixed okay, up. Okay, okay. They was very limited, so, you know, that, that's what drove the price and the market and the popularity of the wheels up, but uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? So many different methods. Some people, you know, some older people like them shorter. Some younger guys like them longer. longer yeah. So it's just a preference thing, but at the end of the day, whatever your preference is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? If you a big dog in Texas, you gotta have a set of swingers in your stable. Yeah, you got sure. to, it's, yeah. it's a culture move, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's basically just Southside, it's a trend, it's us representing our culture, and it's just something that we gotta do, and we take pride in doing it. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. yeah. I've seen some someone that stick out this much yeah for real you know what i'm saying is that illegal i think they just passed a new <laughs> law where if you i don't know the exact measurements okay. but i think it's eight i think it's eight feet i don't know if it's the total length is longer than eight oh, feet okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. they can tick it they can tick it okay okay yeah i think they just you know want to have some shit to stop you getting and get, in, get in your business but uh that's just another thing they you know what I'm saying? They added to, but niggas don't really care about that. They putting yeah, they're that, doing they're doing all they're doing, yeah, they're doing, doing what they do. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Now right here we got a, we have a 17 inch wheel and we got 12 inches poking yeah, out. Yeah, it's right? 17, 12 ticks and wire wheel on the bolt tire. You know what I'm saying? This is so we got a foot right here, literally a foot. Yeah, that's the 12 inch elbow, 17 inch wide wheels. To me, it's like perfect size. It's a perfect size. Okay. To me, like you know, 17, 12. I had a set of. Uh, 
1812 they had first introduced, but people was like, oh man, that's too big. Too big. A lot of people like 15. They like 15, 15, 15, 20. Yeah. It's like, like I said, it's really just a preference thing. It's really no wrong answer. Yeah, no, it's no just, wrong answer. It just depend on you know, what your eyes like, what you want to look at. It's all preference based. That's the good thing about the customization game is because the car is customized to your likings, yeah, your yeah, standards. Yeah. So if yeah. you like longer, go longer. Yeah. If you like shorter, go, go shorter. shorter yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just do you. That's that's the beauty of the customization game. You don't have to get into what he said, she said, what size you yeah. should have and all that shit. If you holding, you hold it. What does holding mean? Because I've seen that on plates. If you yeah. holding, if you holding, okay. if you gripping the wheel, you holding the slab, yeah, yeah, yeah. if your shit clean, you know what I'm saying? Holding is just a term that just came down, you know, like for a nigga seeing you on the boulevard and be, you know what I'm saying? That boy on the gas, he was holding okay. slap. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a, like a sheet of paper with all of the, <laughs> yeah. the words, all the terminology. Yeah, so I can know what to say, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's joking <laughs> and not joking and definitely, definitely holding. This motherfucker holding, so, you know what I'm saying? You can see it how it sit right now. Yeah. And you're gonna definitely see when we put the finishing touches on it yeah. for on the gas and the 713 way. There you go. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna add a different little flavor and a little touch to it. Now, I did say that we bought the car. We don't wanna change it too much because at the end of the day, Lil Kiki bought the car. Oh, yeah. But we're gonna add a little bit of our, our sauce. Oh, yeah, no you doubt. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, to. And it, the car just got built in March. It has a brand new paint job. It looks like a, like a wine color, maroon. What is it? Brown? Wine, beer, like a brown, yeah. like a root beer. Yeah, it's like a root beer. Yeah. It's just it's clean. So many different, so many different ways. Yeah, it's it got. I mean, you can see, you can see the flakes. Oh, uh, the car is actually really, really, you know, long. I, I mean, I've seen pictures of it. It didn't look that big, but now that we're here, the car looks really, really good, real clean, old school '76 old Dorado. We do have a big ass grill coming, right? Big grill coming for sure. It's like a what? Rolls Royce grill? Big Daddy grill. Big Daddy grill. Big so grill. we're gonna be putting a Big Daddy grill. My boy actually has a, another '76 El Dorado that he personally built for himself. It's white, and I, that's where I've seen the grill. And I was like, well, shit. If that's the grill to have, that's the grill we need on this one. So we got that big grill coming. Also, the interior was also done. We're not gonna change it either. We're gonna leave it as is. And we, yeah, what is this like? Oh, like it looks like car seats. Yeah, it's a CTS. Oh, so CTS. this is like a CTS body. Oh, okay. Right here, it's just been modified. They got a custom console. Modified right. to fit it. Yeah. Also, I seen that all these slabs they got a lot of wood grain. Is that is that a thing to have as well? Yeah, for sure. So you have to have wood grain. Yeah, it's a wood grain. This and they did a really good job because if you see the wood finishes on here, it's already like clear coated. Okay. And it's already like, yeah. It's in good condition. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it really don't get no better. You got the Grant steering wheel right here. Uh -huh. That's a real popular thing. They used to rap about gripping the Grant. So, uh, you know, this, this shit is amazing. Oh. Got some nice. LEDs. It's a uh, super dope, super dope car. It's a, it's a great platform to start with, or you could just Hold it. drive this motherfucker <laughs> just like this. No, this thing is ready to roll. Yeah, it's you ready know what I'm saying? Roll. It's ready sure. to roll. We don't have to actually do nothing to a car, but you know, that's not the way we do stuff. You know what I'm saying? We got to add the on the gas sauce. And uh, my boy Ash is gonna help us out with that. But pretty cool car. I mean, it feels like it feels like we're in the old school right now. I like the not a big wood grain guy. You know what I'm saying? But it looks pretty cool. I guess it fits the car. And of course, the finish is real nice as well. The only thing missing is music on this one, right? It's only paper. It's only paper. It's only paper. So, so bring that paper when you come to say one three. Yeah. When you come to see me, bring that paper. Yeah, paper, yeah. Where's that piece of the trunk? Let's pop trunk. Let's talk about what we're gonna do in the back. I'm gonna pass it over to Maestro. I'm gonna let him okay. tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we got a lot of space here in the back, right? Yeah. We could put four. 12s, we could do 215s, we, we could do whatever 15s, in the back. 6 12s, 8 12s, whatever you want. Oh, you, you, yeah, there's no limit to There's it. no limit to, to the trunk space. Yeah, sure. it just all depends how hard you want to hit, you know? Okay. Everybody out here really goes all out, so you got space. Yeah, so we're thinking about 215 Sundown X, the usual stuff that we get for our, our pickups. I think it's gonna fit pretty good, right? It's gonna have yeah, so we're gonna enough go, airspace for the box. Oh yeah, we're gonna do 215 Sundown X. We'll do a, a Sundown South 6K. Okay. We'll do two XSD 3400 batteries. Uh -huh. We'll run a zero gauge all the way in the front. We'll run an AMG battery up front and just give it all the power so we can really get this chunk shaking. Okay. Get everything. 215s, beat. or we're gonna have like a... Like we're, gonna, a we're gonna make a lid right here, okay. all with panels, do some acrylic so you can show the woofers okay. inside the box. Then we're gonna do at the pop trunk, 
Uh -huh. So when the trunk goes up, we're gonna do a nice neon sign. It's gonna all glow, it's gonna say it's just paper. Okay. You know, give it the whole H-Town look. Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna be able to control the trunk with a remote. Right. A switch. A switch. Yeah. So uh, you hit the switch and then it opens up by itself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but if you want with a remote, I can do it with a remote too. No, no, I'm just saying because yeah. I, I've seen cars riding with the trunk open. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right we'll, from the we'll add you a switch panel in the front so you can pop trunk, turn on your neon lights, whatever. Um, and if you want the preference of doing it when you're outside the car, we'll go ahead and yeah, do it Yeah, that's going to be tight right there. And it's not, is it illegal to be driving it with, with the... Man, fuck illegal, <laughs> man. We, we do it, we do it with the fuck we want to do, man. I'm going to be acting a fool, bro, and then I'm going to have to call you that you well, don't pick me up. <laughs> on the gas is going to pay the ticket. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this car is active for you. This is for you to show off. Okay, okay. You know? I just want to need they're a green see light. You here, they're going to know you're a big baller. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just need the green light. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? I just want to know if it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be. Oh, it's definitely cool. It might not be legal, okay. but it's, it's cool definitely. in the mud. <laughs> As long as it's cool, it's, it's good to go. I don't want to be the only dude, you know what I'm saying, doing what not supposed to be doing, you know? But if it's all right, we'll fucking do it. So, 215s, good app, the good warrant. It's going to be a nice panel. He'll cover it up with neon lights. We're going to match it with the interior. Okay. Oh. And then we're gonna have uh, the issues paper logo here. We're gonna have some plexiglass. Yeah, plexiglass, glow it up with some neon. So when you turn on your lights, we'll be able to see inside the box, woofers and everything. The okay. Whole setup. Okay. So can we put like on the gas logo on? Oh, definitely. The... Yeah, on the acrylic, I can sandblast it onto the glass, so it'll glow too. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, let's do some on the gas, and then let's do in the middle. The... Ah, this one is. This one is sandblast on the glass acrylic. Oh, okay. Seven one three way. This is what I, this is what I want. <laughs> so in the middle, the seven one three way, and then we can do it on the gas, Perfect. on the sides or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then it's just paper on top. Sure. You know, so so it, so they know that it's done by us. Yeah, and the right way. Yeah. For <laughs> you sure. know what I mean? So we can do that. What color are we using in the back? We're gonna go. We're gonna match the interior. The interior. Um, we're gonna go with the brown. Okay. And so perforate it. And just maybe give it a little two tone to match the uh, convertible the top convertible and the stitching. Top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no wood in the back. Just we can, if, if there's space for it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and match some wood grain if that's your choice. No, no. no I mean, I'm a, whatever, whatever you guys do, just just, just to do it the right with the the set one three way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you guys are the professional. <laughs> <laughs> you guys we'll are the professional. We'll do this. The set one three yeah, way. Yeah, just add the right stuff. You know what I mean? I just wanted yeah, to be yeah, like, oh shit, that's that's yeah, not right. No, we're gonna get you. You know what really, I mean? Really hold it. So yeah, hold it. Yeah. <laughs> so. We're doing that, we're doing the big grill. Are we gonna talk about doing some gold stuff or we're gonna wait for that? We're gonna just show them later. I don't know, you know, we're gonna flip a coin. Okay, we're, we're gonna, gonna see, we're gonna start deciding to stay chrome or we might add some gold accents. We wanna change it up a little bit, so we, we got some stuff in mind. Uh, I don't wanna say everything that we're gonna do, just cause I don't want nobody stay to, tuned. yeah, I don't want nobody to beat us to stay, it. Stay tuned. You know what I mean? But it's coming, so it's here at the right spot. Well, the big shout out to my boy Ash, hooked us up with the car. Omar here is gonna be doing the sound system, the 713 way. And hey, let's talk about the interior before we, we, we get out of here. We're gonna add custom kick panels. Okay. We're gonna add two six and a halves in the front. Then we're gonna do custom rear panels. Okay. So we're gonna do four six by nines in the back. And then we're gonna match it up with some acrylic to match the console. So when you turn on the light, I'll have some of this stuff glowing too to match. Oh. You know, give it give it that nice little retro accent. So, oh, gotcha. Yeah, so just that, as you see that acrylic, uh -huh. I'll match this, match the back. We're gonna power it with an amplifier and get the sound system just really, really, really going. Really going. So six by nines, they're yeah, going. Yeah, so we're gonna make custom panels here. Okay. We're gonna remove this and I'm gonna make a whole new panel. Keep the same stitching, but everything's gonna be like a factory panel with speakers hidden in the back. Oh, okay. So everything's gonna be hidden. Your tears gonna be looking the same. See. Just you're gonna have a nice, real loud sound. What system. kind of speakers are we using? Right here, we're gonna go with the um, the DS18s, okay. the the pros. Okay. Yeah. With the, the Neo Pros. Yeah, the Neo yeah. Pros. Yeah, we're gonna do six by nines and then six and a half. We're gonna add um, components, the bullet tweeters. Okay. Two in each on the dash, and we're gonna add some on the bottom too. Okay. Four six by nines in the back. Two, two six and a half, and then we're gonna go with four bullets all the way around. Okay. Powered with a uh, DS18 600 okay. channel, four channel. Okay. Powered it all up. And you think this is gonna be enough voice for the bass that we're Oh, gonna once have? we amplify it, man, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be loud. The truck's gonna rattle, or we're doing like a blow through setup. Well, you're gonna have both. I mean, the, the box is still gonna be ported, so you are gonna get bass depending when you pop trunk. You're still gonna have that bass. Okay. When you have the trunk closed, you will get bass inside. I mean, the blow through is just gonna come through here because none of this is sealed. Oh. You get okay. me? So when the top is down or the top is up, the base will still be in there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Does your shit, your shit rattle? My shit knock. Yeah, yeah, yeah it knock. I usually wear a rattle. Look, the only way it's gonna nah. rattle is when you leave all this, like when people don't do this right, all this stuff lose, the emblems lose, then you 
get all that rattle. Oh, okay, this okay, car okay. is gonna have bang. Okay, it's gonna so have pressure. So it's, it's gonna sound as good. Oh, it's gonna sound. Because sometimes good. when it rattles, you can't hear shit. No, 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 no. Yeah. So and then you're gonna have a. Uh, Some people like that sound though. Yeah. No, 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 we want that clear. Nice, clean bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It but have to but be just know nice. you will have that option that when you do want to show off, you can go ahead and turn up that bass and, you know. Okay. Metele un epicenter también. Yeah, for los corridos yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, an epicenter for the yeah, We'll do epicenter and we'll do the, the processor. So yeah. you can still tune everything depending on the music you like. Rap, corridos, you know, all that stuff. So you'll have no bass loss. Do all that cool shit. Shit, there you go. 76 El Dorado. We're already talking about doing the music, all the neons, the logos, that extra stuff that we're gonna do. It's looking pretty tight. How long is it gonna take? About a month? About a month, yeah. We're gonna get you out before the end of the year. About a month. Uh, hopefully we get the grill, show you guys the grill, then maybe we'll do some uh, some stuff to the wheels just to be a little bit different. They haven't done gold yet, right, you said? I've seen gold before, but i never seen it like how we gonna do it. Okay, okay. So we, we plan on doing some stuff on this car, something different. Like I said, we don't want to change it too much either because at the end of the day, little, it was Lil Kiki's car and he built it and he was pretty much one of the originators for, for this shit. So yeah, pretty excited about this build. And then you're going to hit me up whenever whenever y'all riding, right? So we can go out cruising shit? Yeah, for sure. Is I'm going to pull out with you. Okay. And is it like on a Slab Sundays and shit? That's, oh yeah, no doubt. So I've always heard about the Slab Sundays, but we've never got to, to go or whatever. And uh, it's MLK, right? They're going to be calling. You. Oh, you're gonna be calling me? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be calling there you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, bring, yeah. you bring that motherfucker out, they're gonna be calling you. Yeah, so yeah. don't worry, it's yeah. gonna, we're gonna have plenty of opportunities to ride. On as, as long as they call me and they want it on a rap video, that's all we're gonna say. Don't be calling. It's kind of like driving the 75 Dawn, huh? The Caprice? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same feel. Same length and shit. I didn't know it was going to be this long, but it is long. Not like that. Yeah. You see, bro? I, I'm just saying, bro, you know. I need to watch out because these holes are poking too. Yeah, bro. And people who walk by it too are going to have to be careful. Like if you're just walking next to it at a car show, yeah. you're going to hit your leg. Yeah, yeah. The thing is a boat. Who would have thought you would have been holding? Shit. It's crazy. Man, life's crazy sometimes, you know what I mean? You gotta take your shirt off or something, Johnny. Nah, hey, I, I, need to get, I need to make sure I got a strap in this bitch. This is gonna be the closest thing to having a smooth ride. Cause this one is pretty much it. You know what I mean? It ain't got no big wheels either. Boy, Chad, remember you got, you got. Bro. Remember over there. We good over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna rub a little bit, fuck it. Gucci, right? Yeah, you're good, you're good. Stay on the left. Oh yeah. Bro, this is a big ass boat, bro. Oh, that's a big motherfucker. This is a big No device. device. Oh, on that big chair. DJ screw. I like it. It rides pretty good. Yeah, it rides like the uh, 75 Caprice when we first got it. Yeah, and, like, and the Chevy box too. Bro, it rides like a Cadillac. It does, it is a Cadillac. <laughs> Everybody was asking yesterday how to the Escalade, bro, and I was like, like a Cadillac? Yeah. But now you can say like a Cadillac, you know, because it, it is a Cadillac. Literally, this is a Cadillac. Yeah. And I feel like the old schools ride smoother than the new school. Yeah, yeah, you know so. I think I'm gonna turn around here. Yeah, we're gonna drove for a long time. We're gonna get lost, bro. You gonna be able to make the turn? Uh, I'm not gonna make a U-turn. Oh, it's got speakers already. Yeah. You got some DSATs right here on the panel. How's it going? I'm live on fire, nigga! What's up, baby? Who's the man? Who's the boss? Who's the nigga that pays the cost? I really don't give a damn, cause go, 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 Hey, we're 
ass, bro. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't, you know, everybody was looking at us. Like, look at these fucking dudes. Look at these Mexicans <laughs> in the wrong car. You know what I mean? It's crazy because they don't really see a lot of Hispanics on That's what I'm saying. They were like, oh, they probably yeah. jacked it from somebody. Well, you better get used <laughs> to it. Yeah. Uh, and then, then this car is well known, so trust me, when they see you on there, they're going to know. They're going to know what's up, huh? Yeah. And then with your little, little, little touch, the gold rims. See, yeah. the gold, gold rims. Nah, on the light, the fucking paint looks. It looks way better out in the sun. If only the sun was out more, you know Crazy, what I'm saying? Yeah. But even the interior. Yeah. Oh, and then you saw the parade boots. Que, que yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Viene con ese, viene con la tapa también, la cover, leather cover. So there's two covers to cover all this stuff. Once you bring the top down, they got this. But there's a like, kind of like the one on the 75, which is a rag. You click, you clip it in here. But then there's a hard top that you can put here, which is like the parade style. So it's like more permanent, and you can sit in a bag and say. You know, oh, can, you can, can wave and we shit. We can put a tiny in the back in Perrillo. You know oh, what I'm saying? Tiny's gonna break this. Tiny's gonna crack it up. <laughs> yeah. This, oh, this was the like the normal, like every convertible has this. Yeah. And then there's, there's the other style, which the is like fiberglass, fiberglass, which is the parade one, right? Yeah, the parade boots. And those are uh, paint to match. Oh, so you got so that one goes on this side, and then the other one goes on that side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And then. It looks all badass and shit. I guess people put it there for, I guess, parades or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you can put it on and just cruise around it, right? Yeah. Si hace clip on o como? Yeah, so you slide them in and they just clip in and that's oh, okay, it. Okay. Just hold, they hold with some lock pins. Oh, okay. They go right here. Wow. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, so okay. when those lock pins go in, you just twist. Oye, le vas a poner bocinas aquí entonces. Sí. Aquí so, no. No, no, no. Ahí okay. no, porque ahí lleva lo que es el motor de la window. Ah. So, okay, la, okay. la bocina va a ir aquí, integrada, pero con un pano que va, la bocina va a estar atrás y oh. va a estar factory. So, okay. todo eso you're going to see a factory, you're just going to have a nice vessel here with the grill to match and everything. ¿Le vas a poner luces blancas ahí o no? Ajá. To okay. match. Y la luz. Y la luz on the kick panel. So, ah. when you turn these lights on, te va a prender todo eso bien oh. chingón. Y lo que estaba pensando. En los kick panels, y si no en los kick panels aquí, Ajá. te puedo agregar así un acrílico, sketch, como el que te enseñó Edge, sí. que diga on the gas. También. Yeah, sí. y te lo puedo poner un one on each side. Ándale, sí, 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 sí. With sí. your logo. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Así para que tengamos on the gas aquí adentro yeah. también. Yeah, nomás just takes me the, the font that you want. This is the okay. font. What's in your font? Like, what is the PDF font? Yeah, the PDF yeah, yeah, well, I got you, right. yeah. I don't know, you've seen the new Cadillacs, right? Uh, yeah. Did you escalate and stuff like that? So yeah, I was thinking, I've seen them. Replace, <laughs> replace this. Oh, of course, my bad. Uh. Replace this with the rear view mirror that has the rear view camera. Like oh, the yeah, the digital one. The digital one. ¿Cómo lo hace para correr el alambre? Yo hago todo eso. Hierro, vamos a darle entonces. We need cameras on this old school too. Yeah, awesome. say no you more, fam. These vehicles with all these cameras and then, you know, decided to ride this one and this one ain't got no backup camera or sensors or whatever. But here it is, guys. 76 El Dorado. My boy Omar's gonna hook us up with the badass sound system. So you're probably gonna see this car here in maybe a month or so. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the on the gas touches, the sound system, the grill that we're fixing to put, and some other little details that we got planned out. Overall, badass car. Rides pretty good. It's a big boat. You know what I'm saying? It's smooth. Car's super clean. And well, you know, it was built by little Kiki, which is a top dog in, in, the, in the slab game. Not only he's a top dog, but he's also a Houston rapper. So thanks to him, we got this car. He was selling it. We got the pleasure to, to get it off his hand. And uh, now we're just gonna add a little bit of uh, on the gas sauce, maybe some uh, uh, twin turbo kit or something. Oh, come on, <laughs> don't do that, bro. <laughs> but yeah, right now we're gonna let these guys work. Oh, this kind of first painted, not the one on the front. Oh, and it matches, yeah, it's that like one, brownish, that one matches. Maroon, maroonish. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna let these guys start working on it right now. My boy Omar's gonna take it, start taking everything apart, right? He's gonna door panels, he's gonna do a couple custom pieces. So, we're gonna head back to the shop. It's been raining for a couple of days now. It's finally going out. So let's go back to the shop and see uh, what's going on over there. Let's go.